It's a scam run by a delusional basement gnome who got rich in crypto thinking he can do anything, but never shows anything. It is one of the biggest scale scams out there. Stay as far as you can from the so-called project. Earth 2 is a virtual version of planet Earth, a one-to-one -one digital replica split into 5.1 trillion land tiles, each measuring 100 square meters. Users can purchase these tiles for real-world cash as an investment in hopes of the value increasing. Earth 2 was originally delivered to be a massive online MMO game where users could use their purchased plots of land to build and create anything they imagined. Since the terrain was going to be an exact replica of Earth, you could alter anything into something you wish could have happened in the real world. You are a mayor with an unlimited budget, do whatever you want. When the trailer for Earth 2 released, many people became interested in the project and were eager to invest. This would quickly shift as skepticism for the company's legitimacy would begin to surface. Earth 2 was planned to release in three phases, the first being a period where players can buy and trade their purchased land with other users. Phase 2 would introduce a feature where plots of land would give certain resources. These resources would be used later on to allow you to build stuff on your plot. The final phase is what actually drove people to invest in Earth 2, the actual game. But after almost four years since its release in 2020 and hundreds of millions of pieces of land being sold, the developers are still on phase one. It is evident from the start how the developers had no intentions on actually following through with the MMO, but instead grabbing people's cash and hoping they forget about it. When people invested money into this project, they assumed they could walk away with more money than they invested with. In Earth 2, there are a couple of ways of making money. Your land value increasing, and their super shady referral system. Each tile from the start costed 10 cents. The prices increased depending on the demand for that specific tile. If I own a tile of the Empire State Building, that might draw a couple of people to buy it off of me. But if I own a random tile in the middle of the desert, it might not increase its value at all. Very similar to the highly successful NFTs, this is not going to last a very long time. The price might peak at some point, but Earth 2 will become so obscure insanely fast that no one will even be interested in buying them. Take the Board Ape Yacht Club for example. Originally sold for a couple hundred dollars, then when literally everyone on the internet was talking about NFTs, it peaked at $300,000. And then when people realized how dumb of an investment these are, it has now dropped to 40k and has been declining in price ever since. When you look at NFTs, there is a limited stock. Once all of them sell, the prices are manipulated insanely high. When you compare it to Earth 2, where there is over 5 trillion tiles, there is zero demand and no one will pay an insanely high markup when I can buy tiles right next to it for insanely cheap. Since its release, people were really fast to call it a scam. Over half the employees that work and develop for Earth 2 do not have a LinkedIn profile, showing no evidence of previous experience. It is so insanely evident that Earth 2 is just a cash grab. You may jump the gun and call me a hater, but just listen. They've done so many things that trigger red flags in people who have common sense, such as not allowing people to withdraw their money if they did not like what they were investing into. If you were the lucky few to invest and actually sell your plot of land to someone who is less intelligent than you are, withdrawing this money is not as simple as it seemed. Users who wished to withdraw were asked to provide an unnecessary amount of information, including your full name, current address, account name, email address, your bank account name, bank account number, your phone number, photo ID, and proof of residence, so they require you to share a utility bill as proof of address. They say this is to prevent fraud, but you cannot tell me that they are not doing something fishy behind the scenes with all this information that you gave them. Another shady method they are using is selling skins and buildings for a game that has never existed. The most likely reason why they are releasing all of these cosmetics and buildings before the game has even launched is because they are going to under deliver on the game and once people see what has been created and delivered they will no longer be interested in the project. Take the money from them before they realize it's not worth investing in. Since its release we have only seen a small trailer of what is to come and I'm being completely honest here it looks like a free asset flip off of unity it does not look good. Earth 2 is going to end up nothing more than a forgotten kickstarter project the developers will eventually realize their game is in a state so horrible it will be hated and forgotten. Earth 2 was never meant to be a game, it was always meant to be an investment. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Let me know if you want more videos like these, but bye bye.